I hope those, uh, I hope that applause is for yourself and not for me, for all that you've done. You know, here we are, another September 11th, another anniversary. You know, I spent this morning in the pit at Ground Zero where those towers once stood with hundreds, with thousands of 9-11 family members whose lives have been consumed, have been destroyed by, by evil. I, I, I'd like to echo something, something Dr. Pepper said just a moment ago. You know, all that's necessary for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing. And there are many hiding in the shadows who wish that that were the case. Clearly, that is not the case. You know, I thought to myself this morning, today is probably not a day for rabble-rousing for me. But you know, I've changed my mind. When I look around and I see you people and I think of all the friends that I lost, or I think of my brother, and, and I'll tell you what, I think about patriotism and how it's defined in this country today. And I have to scratch my head because, you know, I look around here, you guys are the patriots. That is the Patriot Act. And that's our chance to do another thing that Frank Morales talked about here a minute ago, to create a sea change in this country where the relationship between the government and the people they are ostensibly there to serve can change, change to what it's supposed to be. But you know what? It's not gonna happen without people like you. It's not gonna happen unless true patriots, true Americans stand up for what's right and stand up for the truth. These 30,000 signatures, and, and, and Dr. Pepper's right, there needs to be 100,000 signatures, are that sea change. They are the points of light, and you are those points of light. Don't give up, don't be denied. For my friends, for my brother, for all Americans, because that's what this is about. Let's keep going, let's stand with the truth, let's get them, thanks a lot.